What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And over the last few hours there's been some leaks that have come out about uh, the Red Door, which I made a video about a few days ago. If you have not watched that, I'm going to pop it up in the top corner right now. And you can watch that. But it is just pretty much the code name for the alpha for the Call of Duty 2020 game, which is suspected to be Call of Duty Cold War. Now, uh, of course, since that has been out on Xbox for about a week now, uh, this alpha was out on PlayStation, of course, a couple weeks back. This is, or back in June, I could, should say. This is pretty much just uh, the way for the developers to get the game out and for the other people at Activision to be able to play it because they're all working from home. They're not at the office, so they cannot test it from the office. So they're having to test it actually online from the store on PlayStation, of course, on Xbox. So a lot of players, of course, since it's a game, you know how this goes. A lot of people are out kind of getting doing some data mining and getting into the game. So you can kind of take this all with a grain of salt because who knows if all this will actually make it into the final game. But they have kind of dug up a lot of things uh, concerning multiplayer, uh, concerning battle royale, zombies, and, of course, campaign missions. I will link all this information down in the description if you'd like to read over it. But there's around 12 to 13 campaign missions listed. Uh, most of all these should be code names. They said that none of these are going to be the official names, most likely, uh, considering the game's development wraps up at the end of quarter four. They probably won't give the official names to any of this stuff. But like I said, around 12 to 13 uh, single player maps or single player story map, you know, story missions. Uh, there's also eight maps listed for the multiplayer file. What's funny about this is Exclusive Ace, of course, made a video about a month ago that has now been taken down off his channel. It was really talking about a lot of stuff that was coming for Call of Duty 2020. I don't know what happened to that video. It got removed. I'm sure it was probably by YouTube or, you know, Activision wanted it down or whatever the case may be. But, of course, you all know Exclusive Ace is a very good YouTuber. So everything that he said in that video seemed very legit. And I'm sure it was very true. So I, there's kind of some uh, differences here between what he said was going to be for multiplayer maps and what is showing in the alpha now of course this could be just eight maps that are testing i'm really hoping that the game's not going to drop with just eight multiplayer maps i'm assuming the game's probably going to drop with 10 to 13 maps kind of like the normal Treyarch, uh you know games usually do uh probably this could be just the eight regular maps you know or the eight newer maps and some of the other maps that could be coming when the game is released maybe remade maps you know things like nuketown uh, and all that kind of stuff you know the normal remakes we get year in and year out Alongside multiplayer, there was also a co-op mode and a zombies mode. Of course, the zombies mode or the zombie map was named Silver, and that's pretty legitimate because most of the time Treyarch always color codes their names for zombies in past games. So that's probably going to be what the zombie map is going to be. And there was also some different zones named, uh, like Forest, Russia, Ski Slopes, for instance. And a lot of people were thinking that this could be names for a potential new Warzone map because we all know uh, Activision did state that Warzone is going to be pretty much a thing that goes on in each individual game. They're not planning on making another battle royale, and it's going to kind of just go through the life cycle of each game. And we're all assuming, uh, you know, I am. I'm sure most of the community is, is that the map is going to change depending on the game, you know, that is out at the time. So all of this information, like I said, you can kind of take it with a grain of salt. It has it has been data mined. We still really have not got any information on the new Call of Duty game. Most likely it's going to be released uh, around the holiday season when the new consoles come out. But it is also still going to be released on old gen, so you know on PS4 and uh, Xbox One. And of course, like always, on PC. But leave me a comment, guys, with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And if you would like to uh, join the community Discord, that link is down in the description. All you got to do is click it and you can join right up. And also be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.